Okay, this is another nice little tool. Uh, very nicely made, nicely designed. They're the Gunville foam cutters from Uphaven. Um, there are six in the set uh, that are three, four, five, six, seven, and nine millimeter. So very simple to use. I'll take one of the larger ones. Cordless drill. Chuck up the cutter. You need your drill on a high speed, as you would for a drill, not a screwdriver. So you take your foam, put your cutter on, just like that. And then there's a nice little notch that you can just put your tweezers in or a dubbing needle, force out the car, the, uh, the uh, cylinder. Um, once you've done the cylinder, you can trim it down to size. I like just a little under two, mil, uh, two centimeters for eyes. And then once you've done that, you trim around the edge. Just to take the edge off both sides. Like so, then I place it on a dubbing needle and I just take a lighter and you just round off the edges like that, turn it around. And you've got perfect booby eyes once they're tied in, they'll be round. And then we've got the smaller one for the ant bodies, which are absolutely brilliant. Again, that sometimes happens, but it's not a problem. The foam remains in the cylinder, so you just pull it out. For the ant body, we then take the lighter again. Just warm up the ends and roll it. To make the rear body works a treat. Uh, what else you need to know is that when you chuck up your tool, make sure that it's long enough to go through your foam. Uh, the foams come in all different sizes and densities, uh, so whatever you choose to use. Uh, you can glue, if you want quick sight, you can glue a white thin sheet of foam on that and drill it out. Um, and I've read, a, I've, I've not experienced it, I've read a few comments where they say they've blunted up and I've cut hundreds of these foam ones uh, with, with the foam ants and it's still okay. But I've found that if you want to keep it sharp, just as piece of emery paper and just hold it on the edge that keeps that nice and sharp I'll show you a couple of patterns now that uh, that you can use these cylinders for cylinders this is a mustard s80 AP size 10 so I've got sheer 40 knot white tying thread so we just attach that go a wee ways back and then I've got some silver or bright gold copper wire and go forward with that just hang that out the way for the time being like so secure that oops like so and we'll spin our tying thread anti-clockwise to give it a flat profile so I can split it. There we go. And just open that up. 
I've got a little bit of eye stubbing. Don't need much, just like that. And then we'll spin that clockwise to make a dubbing brush. Want this quite tight. And do as there. Start at the rear, work our way forward. Want to build up the body a little as it goes forward so we get a fry shape. There we are, that'll do us nicely. And I've got a little strip of mink. Tie this in at the very front. There we are, I got you. So, we take our wire and find the first point there. So I'll we'll come back, just secure that wire and remove it with friction. The deadly pattern on a high D line this, the booby minky. Got that, we'll just pull out that dubbing. Then I've glued some eyes onto our foam cylinder. What we do is we go around once in the center, twice in the center, and then we wind our booby eyes on like so. Secure them in a few turns. Don't want that far there. And then we can come around the front. Take our weight finisher. Come right in. Under the Form cylinder eyes. Give it a couple of whip finishes. Move the tie thread. And that's the minky booby. So I've got a Mustad R30AP uh, size 14. I've got sheer 14 or black. Uh, this is using the smallest foam cylinder tool, so we'll just attach our tying thread and go wee ways back. Remove that. We don't want to go all the way back here, just about there. We take our foam cylinder that I've burned the end and we just measure the rear part. We want to spin our tying thread anti-clockwise to flatten it. 
otherwise you cut through the foam just secure and then lock off then we can go back and I've got a natural black cock hackle which I'll just attach there and then we can go forward tie up the stem like so, then we go back a very simple and effective pattern and then we'll tie down a little segment like that back under the foam and then another little segment back under the foam and a third little segment like that we'll take our hackle and come up through each segment lock it off at the front go in front to lock it off Remove the hackle and we can come back into there. I've prepared two Indian cock hackle tips for the ant wings. Tie that in like that. Tie that in there. We need to pull these around to the sides like so. That will do us beautifully. And then we have to pull everything back. And go in front. Tie off those two stems. Remove them. Little bit of wax. A whip finisher. I come in here. Oops. Got a hackle point there. Don't want to do that. There we go. Just tie that off. Remove our tying thread and then I want to trim the foam at an angle like so. So you get an anti head and then you can leave the hackle on underneath if you wish, but I like to trim that off. And a few more fibers there. Need to be on. There we are. And that's the cylinder foam pant. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.